Welcome to the Chakra Challenge. My name is Susan Bass, and I'm the founder and director of the Sarasvati Institute of Ayurveda and Yoga Therapy. A seasonal change is upon us. So now is a particularly good time to be focusing on complete embodiment. The first week in August is the time of the year when energy that has been rising up out of the core of the earth since mid-February is going to start its descent downward. It will keep going down into the earth until the autumnal equinox, where it will stay frozen there until winter is over. Seasonal changes are a time when it's very easy to become ungrounded and experience dryness, anxiety, constipation, insomnia, and what we would call a vata imbalance in Ayurveda. So we focus our prana, our life force, on this practice of complete embodiment in the chakra challenge, this important seasonal change. The goal of the chakra challenge is to practice a two-minute daily practice for 10 days in a row that allows one to achieve complete embodiment. The way we do this is through the integration of the chakras. The chakras are energetic centers deep in the central core of the body, and when we fully integrate them into our awareness, it allows the chakras to function in a complete way as opposed to functioning partially. To start this process, we must align the shashumna. The shashumna is a main energy channel, which we call a nadi, and it runs along the spinal column and through the seven chakras. In other words, we must be sitting with our spine in alignment to be able to integrate vibrational healing. So bring your awareness inside your body and now lean over the right leg and push back the left hip and lean over the left leg and push back the right hip to establish your weight evenly over the front of the sits bones. Now lift behind your ears to elongate the spine and take the shoulders back. Soften the rib cage and allow the belly button to drop back towards the spine. But please don't pull the belly button back towards the spine. Just see if it naturally moves closer to the spine when you are elongating the spine and softening the rib cage. Now you're, take your attention to the muscles of your waist and intentionally wrap them forward and feel what happens behind your belly button. So we're wanting to engage these core muscles. And from here, take a long, slow exhale through the nose as the belly gently pushes the air out of the lungs. On the inhale, keep the area between the eyebrows soft as you imagine you're pushing a corset off the front and back and sides of the waist as you create a vacuum for air to come in deep into the lower lobes of the lungs. This long, slow exhale through the nose causes the diaphragmatic muscle to move around the vagus nerve and stimulate it to tell the brain and the nervous system that the emergency is over, therefore allowing your body and mind to move into rest and digest in repair mode so you can start the energetic integration process that is the goal of the chakra challenge. So we're focusing on the first chakra today, the root chakra or muladhara. And you're sitting on the front of your sits bones and engage the perineum. And this is the muscle at the base of your pelvic bowl. And you're wanting to have an awareness there. You don't want to, to grip it um, like you would if you were going to stop the flow of your urine. It's just sort of a, a half grip. It's just an awareness so you know where your center is. And so this is, you want to keep your attention here. It's your awareness here at the perineum, at the base of the, of the spine, the location of the root chakra. The root chakra is ruled by the earth element, and the root chakra is magenta red. Imagine a magenta red sun radiating out from your root chakra at the base of your spine. Activate the color by using your memory. Hold the memory of a vibrant red candy apple or a glowing red hibiscus flower in the area of the first chakra. Hold the vibrancy of that color. Perceive this color in your root chakra and let this magenta red sun radiate out from the root chakra in all directions until it fills up your entire body. You're filled up with this magenta red color. Do this for three breaths with a long, slow exhale through the nose to bring you back into rest and digest in repair mode. Check back in to make sure you're sitting on the front of your sits bones and elongating the spine.
In yoga philosophy, it is said that we have 72,000 subtle, subtle energy pathways that we call nadis. They originate at the belly button and they move throughout the body, many of them ending in our hands and fingertips, which is why hand mudras are so effective. The hands are considered the control panel of the body. So take your hands and make the peace sign. Put your thumbs over the pinky and ring finger and the index and middle finger move into the peace sign. This is called Bhumudra because Bhumi means earth and the earth element rules the root chakra. And then take the tips, the index fingers and the middle fingers to touch the earth. So a mudra takes 30 seconds to activate the electrical circuit. And to get the full benefit, you need to really hold it for two and a half to three minutes. So you're touching the fingertips to the earth in Bhu Mudra while you're rooting through the sits bones and engaging the perineum at the base of the pelvic bowl and seeing this magenta red sun radiating from the root chakra out and filling up your entire body. To increase the resonance of these root chakra practices even further, we're going to add in a seed sound called a bija. And each element um, is, you know, represents a different, is connected to a different chakra. The root chakra is connected to the earth element. And the word for the seed sound for the earth element is lam, L-A-M. But when you say lam, it actually ends with a G. Because you say lom, and the M vibrates on, on your lips, and then you take the tongue to the roof of the mouth to make the NG sound. So it sounds like lom. And while you're doing this, you're making sure to solve in the area in between the eyebrows as you continue to hold the vibrant magenta red sun at the root chakra, Muladhara. And so just for three breaths, you're integrating all of these practices and letting just lum come out at your own octave, at your own pace for three breaths as you're really integrating the power of the root chakra into your awareness. Lum. 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 Now bring your hands back to a relaxed position and take a moment to integrate the power of the root chakra into your awareness. It's integration time we're missing in our culture. We need time to integrate all the prana you've gotten moving. Ayurveda says all disease is from stagnant prana. So we need to know the central issues and the rights and the goals of the first, first chakra, Muladhara. The goals of the first chakra are stability, grounding, prosperity, trust, and physical health. The central issue of the root chakra is survival. And you need to know your first chakra rights. You have a right to be here and you have a right to have. So settle into your body and move towards a sense of relief as you embrace your root chakra and you embrace all that you are. Practice this for three breaths a few times today so that you're ready as we move to the second chakra, Spadistana, tomorrow. Thank you.